to Shendra's engineering tutorials, uh, Laplace transform, discussion on Laplace transforms. So, economic definition, what is a Laplace transform? Laplace transform of any function x of t, then its notation and frequency domain x of s is equal to the definition uh, is uh, x of t is multiplied with e raised to minus st and integrated with respect its t, no worry, its t integrated with 0 to infinity x of t for a unilateral Laplace transform evaluation. Uh, an important point to be noted by the beginners of Laplace transform. If you are a beginner, you have to understand uh, to understand to know the uh, some transformation over here. The for uh, I caution for a beginners. So what I mean is, if there is any transformation over here, that would reflect over here, and if there is any transformation over here with the frequency uh, component, that would reflect over here. What I mean to say is, for supposing at the end of the derivation, we are left with t as it is. If you are left with uh, something like a s for supposing the simplification has reached e raised to minus a s it would reflect over here a it would uh, result over here a s or else uh, with some analysis and with some simplification finally if, if we have reached to s by a it may be so that change over here in the exponential and that too in the frequency domain would result over here s by a a very important point to be never remembered by the beginners who are doing with the Laplace transforms and with the help of this one we can uh, understand clearly an important property of Laplace transform for example going ahead what will be the according to the definition what will be the Laplace transform of the given function x of uh, a t so if the given function is this x of a t and the Laplace transform this to be evaluated according to definition it would be 0 to infinity right the given function x of uh, a t multiplied with e raised to minus st d t right and there is a small we need to substitute this at with something like uh, let uh, at be u that's me u and from this one i need to have t and dt i need to have t and dt so for that from this very expression what i have is t equal to u upon a this it's multiplying that would divide this side and uh, it's a uh, from here what we have is dt will be equal to du upon a now this will be the game changer like this this uh, this sub this substitution this will be the game changer plugging in these values plugging in these values in the above equation what we have is integral 0 to infinity as it is x of uh, at we have u x of at we have uh, u it's u don't get confused it's u and uh, what else? E rise to e rise to minus of uh, s and t we have something s and t we have uh, u upon a and dt we have this one du upon a right and uh, being a a constant here that comes out of the uh, integration nothing to do inside the integration 1 upon a comes out we have uh, integral 0 to infinity x of u as it is a small uh, manipulation here itself e rise to we can write this as minus of uh, uh, s upon a into u d u guys compare this one with this uh, integral 0 to infinity x of u e rise to minus something into u d u integral 0 x of t e raised to minus uh, this thing t into dt with respect to t here with respect to u now this take the this takes the transformation 1 upon a as it is now this can be written as similar to this one this can be here this can be written as uh, x of uh, s by a x of s by a which is the uh, laplace transform of x of a t right uh, yet another important property of uh, Laplace transforms here yet another important property of Laplace transforms it's a uh, something is done with the time domain in the initial in the beginning so this is known as a uh, time scaling property of Laplace transforms time scaling property of Laplace transform this would be the results so we have to solve uh, solving many numericals will be very easy if you are if you are used to this expression like if you are used to this property it's known as uh, the time scaling property of laplace transforms right? a numerical will be 
very helpful for better understanding of this uh, property just now what we have seen. For example, a Laplace transform of a function x of s is given such that uh, s plus 1 upon s square plus 3s plus 4. Let this be given and uh, what may be the question? The question is obtain the Laplace transform of uh, x of 2t. It is asked, this is what will be the law. If the Laplace transform of any given function is s plus uh, 1 upon s square plus 3, it's s, don't get confused, it's 3s plus 4. What would be the Laplace transform of uh, x of 2t? So going uh, one step behind, what we have is this would be the Laplace transform of uh, the function x of t, right? So just now we have seen the uh, property of uh, time scaling in Laplace transform, the, just now the derivation was on, uh, the, that is applicable over here. So the Laplace transform of this one would be from the definition, this would be like, uh, now this, it's A in this case. Now this is A, A in this case, uh, like uh, Laplace transform of X of A T like that. Now this A will be two over here. So we had the Laplace transform of X of A T just now in the previous derivation, what we had is one upon A. So one upon two into x of s minus a in, a, in each and every place of a, s we have to substitute uh, s of a so that is in this case it's uh, s by 2 we have s over here plus 1 as it is and here s by 2 whole square don't get confused plus 3 into s by 2 plus uh, 4 right this is what whatever wherever we find s that should be uh, that s should be substituted with uh, s by a, a is 2 and so this is the transformation over here. This is the plug-in values 1 upon 2 as it is and uh, this would result in finding the LCM and simplifying it would be s plus 2 by 2, s plus 2 by 2 and this would be uh, final result would be it would be like uh, 4 finding out the LCM it would be 4 um, s square plus uh, this this 6s plus 16 this is the procedure and uh, this all these uh, 2 and 4 gets cancelled and the Laplace transform the Laplace transform of x of uh, 2t in this case will be equal to s plus 2 by s square plus 6s plus 16 this is how we make use of the time scaling property of Laplace transforms Hope uh, this video finds useful. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much. Stay home, stay safe. If you find this video lecture video useful, please subscribe my channel Ushendra's Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much.